I'm Maura, and I'm going to show you about this monarch life cycle project. A monarch butterfly lays one egg on a leaf. That egg hatches into a caterpillar. The caterpillar, or larva, continues to eat the leaf and grow and grow until it builds a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar changes. It metamorphosizes. And when it's ready, it emerges from its chrysalis as a monarch butterfly. Then it will get nectar from the flower and start the cycle all over again. Let's make one together. To create the monarch life cycle, start by purchasing this printable from etsy.com slash shop slash fanfron. Usually you'll receive it within a couple of minutes and then you can print it. I print it on cardstock and I've used different colors to save myself some time on coloring. Uh, you could use paper, but I wouldn't suggest it because the leaves will be a little droopy. Over here are some supplies that you definitely need. Over here are some optional supplies. Adults, you may want a craft knife as well. Uh, mine is missing because I hid it all too well from my four-year-old and I can't find it myself. Uh, kids, you can do everything with the scissors. Let's start by cutting around the outside of the stem. You're going to be cutting on the black dashed line. Next, you'll fold on the gray dashed line and you're gonna fold forward, and in this case, up. <laughs> I'm lining up these edges to help me fold it straight. Now, I'm going to cut again on the black dashed line. Now comes the part where you may want your cutting board and a craft knife. You're going to cut on these black dashed lines. And in a second, I'll show you how to do it, kids, if you don't have an adult to help you with this part. There's a little tiny line right here, and you can fold just real gently on that line and cut like this. And then unfold and smooth it out, okay? And I'm going to do this on my last line. That's where you're going to be putting the leaves, okay? Now, I'm going to use this to help me glue in a cylinder shape. And you can see right here, there's a line. That's where I'm going to put this. The cylinder just kind of the paper towel roll just kind of helps me keep it in place and then this is kind of what happens when I use glue so as the glue is drying I've been putting tape on it just to keep it secure and then you can slide this back out and Spread these apart like they are roots and stand that tube up. This is my dirt and I've already cut around the outside of it. I'm going to go ahead and cut into the middle on the black dash line and cut out this entire circle. Now grab the stem and put glue on each of these almost roots of your stem and take this dirt, put the little split in the back, slide it right over and push it down and that will help your stem stand up straight. Now you're going to grab your leaves and cut those out on the black dashed line.
Obviously, if you didn't print on green paper, you'll want to have colored all these things before you assemble them. But once you have your leaves cut out, all you have to do is stick them in the hole that you created earlier in the side of the stem. And if you find that this hole isn't cut wide enough for your leaf, just take your scissors and trim off this part of your leaf. I'm coloring the life cycle stages using some of the notes that are on here, giving me ideas of what color things might be. So right now I'm doing the caterpillar. And as I looked at pictures, I noticed they have a black stripe with the white stripes on each side and then yellow on the edges of each segment of their body. So I'm adding black stripes. And then I'm gonna color my monarch with some orange. And when I'm done, I'm gonna cut them all out on those black dashed lines. And this is a milkweed. It's a monarch's favorite flower. So that's what kind of plant we're making. And interestingly enough, their flowers can be all kinds of colors, white, orange, yellow, green, pink, purple, or red. So you can decide what you would like them to look like. An important thing to know about the wings of a butterfly is that they are symmetrical. That means that if I drew a line right down the middle of the butterfly, each side would look exactly the same. So where I colored these gold parts, I did it in the same spots on both sides. I like to add a lot of detail to my drawings, but this is a little tedious if you're coloring everything in different colors. So if you'd rather not do that, don't feel bad about it. Just print this on a colored piece of paper or just color over it all in color and it will be fine. When you have all the rest of the pieces cut out, you're gonna go ahead and glue your milkweed flower to the milkweed stem and leaves, the rest of the plant. And if you're afraid it's not going to stick, feel free to add a little tape there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to put these other pieces on here. This is the egg. It's pretty tiny. I'm going to fold it. I already did that, but there it is. You can fold it on that gray dotted line and then stick it on the bottom leaf near the edge so that you'll be able to see it. Now for the caterpillar, we're folding backwards on all of the lines to make this triangular shape and first I'm going to put glue right here and glue that triangular shape here and then oh, my glue must not be very sticky then I'm going to put glue on the bottom of this and put the caterpillar on the middle leaf And over here, I have the chrysalis. It's not a cocoon, that would be a moth. And the chrysalis will hang from the top leaf near the edge. And now for my adult, the butterfly. Again, we're gonna fold backwards on each of those gray dotted lines. And this time, when you glue it together, you're going to be making more of a rectangular shape like this. Now, if you want to skip the butterfly legs, that's fine. Those are, it'll work fine without it. But I'm going to put glue on the legs and stick them on the butterfly. And then you have a choice for how you would like to attach the butterfly. I like the clothespin option because it makes it easy to hook the butterfly on like that. But then when you want to show what how the adult butterfly lays the egg, it can fly down here. You could use a clo or a paper clip as well. 
to hook the butterfly to the flower, or you can just glue it right on there. The last item of business here are these labels, which I've been cutting apart on those black dash lines, just like everything else. There are more labels than there are parts of the life cycle, you may notice, because you might be using different terms. So we've got the egg, then we have the caterpillar, which can also be called the larva. Then we have the chrysalis, and inside the chrysalis we have the pupa. And then of course there's the adult butterfly, and adult is an option. So choose which terms you've been using. If I miss something, there's a blank one for you. And there are different ways to put these on here. You could put them on the dirt with little arrows to show the order in which they happen. You could glue them on the leaves and then put the final one on the flower, or you can put them on the stem in the order in which they occur. So this one by the egg and then the caterpillar right here by the caterpillar. So choose what works best for you. There's also this title part, which I folded backwards and I'm going to glue right here in the front. Uh -huh.